I hope you have a wonderful week. Today I'm very excited because I have a delicious recipe I want to share with you. Probably you already saw in the title what I'm talking. Yes, today we want to learn how to prepare Costa Rican ceviche. Mm, one of my favorite for the one of my favorite dishes from the old times. Today we're gonna need for this recipe, this guys, we wanna need tilapia. How much tilapia we wanna need? That depends on how much appetite you have. I bought this with coming like a, in a single packaging. So uh, yeah, so today we wanna use this guys, and then um I want to show you later where, where what other uh, ingredients you want to need. So stay tuned if you want to know how to prepare this delicious dish. Okay guys, I have right here all the ingredients we want to need today for this dish. I want to show you what we want to need. We want to need, first of all, the most important, tilapia. We want to need <coughs> cilantro onion, uh, sweet pepper, can be any color, can be green, can be red, can be yellow, one avocado, a lot of uh, lime, the yellow one or the green, whatever you have. Uh, this is our green onions. We wanna need uh, any type of lemon soda can be like, I have this, this is what I have right now, can be, I don't know, whatever kind of lemon soda you need. Salt, vinegar, okay? That's our ingredients. Today I wanna be using my super um, uh, little processor, food processor. You don't have to, you don't have to use this guy. But if you have it, you can use it. You can cut off everything by hand and that's what works. Okay, so I want to prepare. First of all, we want to start cutting our tilapia. And then we want to, well, I want to explain to you. Let me bring the tilapia, set up everything, and we want to start uh, cooking. Okay? So I'm so, so happy. Um, first of all, I use my favorite apron. Second one, I'm totally excited. My mother -in gave that to me. This beautiful set, it's a uh, foreign salad. I want to use it for my, for um, mix my ingredients. My beautiful cutting bar and uh, my beautiful plate. Okay guys, what we want to do first is, with probably is what taking your time. It just remove our tilapia from the packaging. How many fillets we want to need? Like I said before, that one depends how much we want to make. Uh, I'm pretty much always the only one in this house who enjoy this. My husband likes it, but honestly, it's all for me. So I probably, let's see, let me see. You want to cut it off? 
like a small pieces. So it wanna be easy for the uh, food processor to process the Let me check if my uh, tilapia is frozen. Okay, my tilapia is ready to use. You want to cut your tilapia in very small pieces. So you want to cut it like something like this. And from there, like a more tiny piece. Make sure all the pieces are really the, almost the same size. Okay, what, what is next? We're gonna cut our lemons and we wanna pour our lemons in our fish. Lemon work like a, it's a cook, a natural cook, cooker, cooker for meat or fish. Ah, uh, the acids and all these, um, oh yeah, acid the lemon has is enough for cooked meat. I don't know if you know that. You know, if you left meat in a lot of lemon juice, pure lemon juice, for days when you get there, when you wanna see it again, it wanna be totally probably melted. So, because this fish don't wanna be cooked in the, in our um, stove, we want to cook the ceviche with lemon and vinegar. This dish, you have to uh, let marinate, for saying that way, uh, the ceviche at least, at least, at least, of the least three hours. If you can let it 
uh, sit for 24 hours and your fridge wanna be perfect. But if you're like me, very desperate, I wanna eat everything right now, so at least three hours. So after I prepare this and we finish with this and I put it in the fridge, I have to wait three hours before I can eat it. Because it's the amount of time with the, the lemon when I cook the fish. The other reason we wanna need any kind of like uh, soda, with lemon soda, because soda uh, helps to cook with the lemon and the vinegar with the fish, okay? So it's not exactly like 100% rare fish, because practically we wanna be cooking for with this guy.
Okay guys, once when we finish with our processor, everything wanna looks like this, like a pure, pure, yeah. So, and once we wanna grab our stuff, or vegetables, and we wanna just add it, those vegetables to our fish, and we wanna mix all together. Very, very good. I want to put a little on top of this. I want to put it again in the fridge and we want to wait three hours until it's ready. So, see you in three hours for so we can enjoy together this delicious fish. Okay, see you. Okay guys, this is the end result. I hope you like it. I hope you find this recipe interesting and easy. The way I prepare uh, the ceviche and the plate is how usually you want to find this in some places. Uh, in Costa Rica, we don't put the avocado. Avocado is more like for the Peruvian, Peruvian version ceviche. In Costa Rica we like to cook green, very green plantain and, and we boil it in hot water and then with the plant, uh, but we don't remove the skin. We cook the plantain with the skin and the hot water. When the, when the plantain change the color to green to brown color it's already cooked so you peel off the skin and then you cut off in little pieces and then that's how we eat the ceviche with this uh, plantain but I tried to find today plantain but it, it was to, to find, hard to find so for my beverage I have my Welch sparkling sangria I have my ice ready Mm. That's looking good already. I'm so. Uh, it's not beautiful. Okay, so first of all, cheers everybody. Cheers for the people who enjoy with me these videos. And cheers for the people who support me. And cheers for more and more videos, okay? Mmm, delicious. Let's try our ceviche. Guys, just if you can try this, mm. I'm missing something, so I'll be right back. I'm back. I want to add a little bit of uh, hot uh, sauce, spicy, just a little tiny bit. That's fine. This is just giving that little kick. Extra delicious. Mm, my mouth is watering. Mm. This looks delicious. A little bit of avocado. And a little bit of ceviche. Mm. Guys, this is just delicious oh, this is so good. look at that Let's see if I can 
here. First bite. Mmm. 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 It's so good. And believe it or not, the lemon with the vinegar and the soda. Uh, cook the fish and let the fish so soft the fish melting in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. No, oh, guys. Mmm. It's so delicious. Mmm. Good sangria. Mmm. 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 Qué rico. Mmm. Oh, also, in Costa Rica, another way they eat this is if you don't have plantain or avocado. Uh, those salty crackers, you can eat those with this too. But I don't have the. Mm. Guys, this is so good. Mm. The juice with the lemon. You know the delicious vegetables and the avocado is so nutty and mm, juicy and good. Hi oh, guys. Mm, I wanna say hi somebody. Wait. I wanna say some hi <laughs> some of my follow him people. Uh, some of the people always is talking to me on YouTube. Um, I want to say or send hi to, to Rich Soul. She have uh, his own uh, YouTube channel. I invited you guys to go to see her. I love her channel. Also. I want to say hi to my friend Anaí Valdez. Hi Anaí. She has her own channel too. Her name, the, the channel name is Sencillito. It's in Spanish but she teach how to do um, like a little, no little, a very nice uh, decoration for your house. So go check Anaí. Also, I, I want to say hello to Jackie Snacky. I hope to say right. Jackie Snacky. Oh, I almost forget. Also, I want to say hi to another follow. Um, follow. Uh, to my friend, Princess Rhea. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos and also for letting me know all the time when you are there checking on my videos. I appreciate your support. It means the world for me. Mmm. Mmm. And of course, all my viewers, all these beautiful people who always is on the other side of the camera looking at me and my Craziness cooking. Thank you so much, guys. It means a lot for me. Mm. So, mm. Mm. I have a great news to tell you guys. So, next week, 
exactly a week from today, no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to travel, travel to Costa Rica. Yay! Boom. I want to go to Costa Rica for six days. So during the, that time, you don't want to see me because, honestly, unplug a um, video from there is terrible, the internet. And also, I don't have, want to have my computer there, so I want to be able to, you know, post nothing on YouTube, but on my Facebook page, I want to be right there if you want to go see me, talk to me, and also my little blogs on Facebook. Um, I want to be posting a lot of pictures, I want to go to the beach, so I want to take a lot of pictures and videos. And also, I want to uh, share with you, after I come back, a lot of videos about cooking in Costa Rica, a lot of dishes I want to be eating. So I'm so excited, guys, to share this with you. So yeah, I want to try to make a video with my parents and my sister and my dogs. So it want to be a lot, a lot of fun. So please don't don't miss those days. Mm. I almost done with this. Look. Mmm. So juicy. Mmm. Oh guys, this is so good. I swear. I'm able. I. I, I can be able to eat the whole bowl by myself tonight, but no, I want to have some tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm thinking about, mm, about I don't know. I don't know what I have in mind tomorrow. I want to do something good day, but I don't know what. I know what you're thinking. I'll be thinking the same thing. Crap legs tomorrow, but I don't know. We'll see. So good. Mm. Mm. The juicy. Mm. So yeah, don't miss those videos because they want to be really cool and really nice. And also the beach, guys. I'm thinking to go to is the it's more like the kind of. Nor west of my country. So, is this beautiful beach? The name is Manuel Antonio. It is a bear. It's a. Um, it's a park. When, well, we call it park, but it's not like a park. Park. It's a biological park, and it's protected for the government because leave a lot of animals in there by the beach, by the ocean. You can see monkeys and all kind of animals. Monkeys came down from the tree and they tried to steal your stuff. It's so much fun. Okay guys, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you try to do it at home. Uh, it's 
delicious to do. If you do it, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. Also, don't, let, don't forget to visit my Facebook page and let me know what are you doing today. I want to know. Um, if you don't subscribe it yet, please subscribe it to my channel. Uh, right there, I think, or there. And one of those sides. And don't forget to, uh, to also, uh, when you subscribe, it, activate the uh, little button, button, so that it wanna let you know when I uh, unplug it. So, see you tomorrow in another video. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful night, and see you guys. Bye-bye.